What is up guys? My name is Ashtroid and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Moon Let's Play. In the previous episode we took on the trial, we beat the trial of Lima or whatever it was called and uh, we had a fantastic time. Now it's been about a day since I've recorded this series and I just want to get straight back into it. Honestly, it's been too long. I have missed my little Houdini here and I think it's about time we get back into it. So if you guys are excited, definitely make sure to smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. And of course, answer the question of the day down below in the comment section. I don't know what it is, whatever it is, definitely make sure to answer it. So, after reading all the comments from the episode, I think episode 3 and 4, um, because as of right now, you guys know I'm both recording the episodes, so I haven't seen your comments from episode 5, 6, or 7, but uh, hopefully that makes sense. I realized, right, I realized that I don't think it's possible for us to get a Grubbin, because... I think he's only available on the first route or something, and I was told on Twitter that uh, he doesn't even evolve into Vicavolt until you get to a certain area on like the third island. So pretty much if we caught a Grubbin now, we would be stuck with the Charger Bug for a majority of the game. So we need to start finding some replacements, we need to start uh, building up our team through other methods. I'm really hoping we find us a Landit, or find a Mimikyu, or a Wishy Washy sometime soon here because Honestly, like, as I said, I want to use only Gen 7 Pokemon, and I want to only use Pokemon that I really, really want to use, you know what I'm saying? So, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it works out for the best. I don't know. Greetings, Captain Lima here. As you travel around the islands of Alola, you will find Captain's Barricades here and there. These barricades help mark areas where Pokemon, or particularly strong Pokemon, can be found. Anyone can pass through them, of course, if they are escorted by a strong trainer. Those attempted the island challenge can pass the barricades as long as they clear the trials. So that's their excuse to keep us from progressing and, you know, making sure we uh, stay in the one area until we complete that part of the game. Alright, just want to make sure we're recording, we're recording, we're good. Alright, are you ready? Yes. Then pull the power of a captain. Wow, this man just dragged all that wooden fencing out of the way in just one, one fluid swoosh. I don't know. I'm in a really good mood today. I haven't really done much today. I slept for a majority of the day and it's like 6 p.m. I keep telling myself I'm going to fix my sleep, sh sleep schedule and then I don't. I don't know. I'm really bad at keeping sleep schedules. Voila! Your world just got a little bigger. I am the only captain here on Melee Melee Island, meaning my trial is the only one here. Now that you have cleared the trial, please inform my island Kahuna. Hala. So do we have to go all the way back? Oh, hi, Kahuna. Why are you here? Why are you here? I mean, I'm not against you being here. I mean, I like Kukui. Hey there, Asteroid. Oh, looking at the expression on Lima's face, I see you cleared your first trial, yeah? Guess I better give you a little reward. Time to learn how to, how to use Z power. Yo, let's do this. It's about freaking time. Wow, they're giving us a whole tutorial. Start off by selecting a compatible Z crystal from the Z crystal's pocket in your bag, yeah. Then use the Z crystal you chose on a Pokemon. Sounds simple enough. Z crystals are compatible with a Pokemon if it knows a move of the same type as the crystal. Have your Pokemon hold Z crystals and you'll be able to use Z power in battles. So here we are, finally able to make use of Z power. I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited. Honestly, the reason why I've just been bulk recording so much of this game is because I really just want to play the game. I want to see what the future has to hold. And I literally sat down, I recorded like five videos yesterday uh, just because of, I was so hyped off of this game. And I'll probably record at least three today, so I mean, I'm I'm way far ahead. Sorry if you guys don't like me bulk recording these, but I just, I really just want to play the game in very long sessions. So, watch and learn, cousin. So he's going to show us how to use Z moves. This should be interesting. I mean, we already got a taste of Z moves from the demo, so like, we're not going in completely blind. Yo, it's a Growlithe. I like Growlithe a lot. I'm not going to use a Growlithe, though. Because it's Gen 7, it's not Gen 1. Alright, if it's holding a normal Liam Z and you. So, wait, I didn't read that in time. <laughs> I didn't read that in time. Z power. So he gets to choose between Z Leer. Okay, so if it's a stat move, it just says Z and then the name of the stat move. And I heard that it just boosts the effects of the stat move. So if you use it with any normal type attacking move, it's gonna become Breakneck Blitz. Blitz is what, what it's gonna become, right? Yeah, so Rock is gonna go Sanic fast. Oh my goodness. Wow, rest is for Growlithe, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Get out of here. Get out of here. So, with the normal EMZ, we should be able to make use of it with... Do we have, we have Workup. 
Which, I mean, I guess could be nice for boosting our stats more than it usually would be boosted. I'm not sure if it's just like times two. It's like instead of plus one, plus one, we get plus two, plus two. I don't know. Maybe it's plus three. Phew, Z Power Z Ball of a trainer's feelings under a Pokemon. Yeah. Which totally wears you out. Using Z Power once for battle is all a team can handle. Yeah. Oh, so this is why you've been looking so ragged. That's why you've been looking so ragged, Professor. All right, two days later, I still can't commentate. No, it's like I was I was hit with amnesia. I forgot that I lost Lily somewhere in Route 3. What? Think you can spare some time to help me look for her asteroid? I can go and have a look around the cave for you in case she wandered that way. Thanks, cousin. Let's whip up and find her. Yeah, so he lost Lily. How, how do you lose Lily? I mean, come on. Like, Cosmog is one thing. Okay, we're going to try and use Z-moves. Hold up here. I really want to give this a shot. So we have the normal EMZ. I convert Z-Power into crystals that upgrade normal type moves to normal type Z-moves. Okay, let's give this to Houdini. It is compatible. We're going to get rid of the Quick Claw. Which pains me. Because the Quick Claw has been so useful up to this point. But I think the normal EMZ can, uh, can be of use. So the question is, is it only one time use? Like, is the normal EMZ going to, like, disappear after we use it once? I doubt that's the case, but may maybe that is the case. Who knows? All right, let's grab these berries. I also heard uh, that Pokemon can pop out, like, out of these berries, apparently. So, if we can make use of that, that'd be pretty cool. It's kind of like it's kind of like the rock smash encounters in Oras, where it's like it's like rare Pokemon that pop out of the rocks when you smash them. We have a young goose here, so young goose, you're gonna be our test subject. All right, all right. It's like nighttime in the game, and that's actually really accurate to what time it is. Um, IRL, so I don't- I, I'm still confused about this whole day-night cycle. So here we go, we're gonna use the Z-Power Workup. So it's not gonna be Break Up Blitz, Blitz, it's gonna be Workup, but it's gonna be a boosted Workup, right? Here we go! Here we go, Z-Power! Yes, my dude! Houdini! Get those stat buffs! Get those stat buffs, man! Use Z-Workup! Attack rows, special attack rows. Is it the same? Is there no difference? Hold up. Oh no, we got plus two attack, plus one special attack. Yeah, so I think it did give us an extra boost. It gave us plus two attack instead of just regular plus one attack. Okay. I mean, that, that could be kind of useful, I guess. I guess, I mean. I think Breakneck Blitz, Break, Break, I cannot speak, Breakneck Blitz would probably be more useful, but having that plus two attack is pretty nice, or maybe, maybe it's, like, I don't know if it's just attack, or it just raises the first stat by one, or maybe it's like, maybe it alternates, so like next battle it'll be plus two special attack, I don't know, I don't know, I guess we'll see, so I don't think we're gonna get rid of work up for anything, I was considering teaching Houdini, um, what's it? Echoed Voice, I think it, I think it was. Just so we can make use of Breakneck Blitz. Or like, just for the sole purpose of Z-Moves, but honestly, I like the idea of Workup. And Z-Moves can still be of use to us even with, even without a Z, or a normal attacking move. But I'm sorry guys, I can't commentate today, I just really want to play this game. And I know my commentary skills are trash, but I just really want to like, make progress, and get to the next island, and just see what this game has to offer. I know I've said it like a thousand times now. Oh, hi! Yo, that thing fell from the sky! So it's a flying type encounter. Oh, hi, Spiro. You know, I thought it was a ground type encounter. I thought it was, um... I thought it was like that, those encounters in the, in the... In the Kalos Wastelands. You know how, like, the Diglett and the Doug Trio would, like, chase you down? I thought it was, like, one of those. Alright, Houdini, go for Peck! So, I actually started a Sun... A Sun playthrough on my own, like, off-screen. And, uh, I'm at ha Holy City right now. Um, and I'm actually using like, I'm using a lot more of a diverse team on my Sun copy, like I'm using a Poplio, I'm using a Alolan Grimer, and I also have, oh care. And I also have a, I also have a Piggy Peck. So I'm like, basically what I'm doing is whatever Pokemon I don't use, um, in this copy, I'm choosing my second picks, or my second pair of picks in the other copy, and I'm playing off screen, so I'm gonna make sure that I don't get farther ahead in sun than I am in moon. Like, I'll basically play up to where I am in mon- in mon- in moon, and then stop in sun because I don't want to, um... 
I don't wanna I don't want this LP not to be blind. So that's my current plan. And uh, yeah, you guys know I do pick up both copies of the game because I like to have Moon. I like to have my primary copy for Wi-Fi and then also for my first LP. And then I like to have Sun just to replay. That's what I do with that's what I did with Oras and um, Alpha Sapphire as well, so. I didn't do it with X and Y. Y just kind of became my main copy, and then, and then after I transferred it over to Alpha Sapphire, then I started, then I started to replay Y. But yeah, I'm really tired. I hope you guys are having a great day. I know I'm having a great day. It's been a really chill day. Um, I slept for a majority of it, mostly because I was up till 4 a.m. Uh, playing around with VR. Like I've been addicted to it. You guys have no idea. If you guys want to wear, I got the Daydream View, which is a VR headset for my Pixel phone. And, um, I've been having a ton of fun with it. I was up all freaking night and just like watching YouTube videos and like there's a bunch of cool games. It's like a Harry Potter game. It's, um, I, I think it's based on the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them book. So you can like, you can like interact with a bunch of different awesome creatures. And I, I love VR, honestly. Like it's my first real experience with VR and it's really cool. If you guys have the money, if you guys, um, and if you guys are interested in VR, then I definitely recommend it, 100%. Alright, so anyways, Delibird, we're gonna run from you because we are four times weak to ice. Like, that is the one typing that could ultimately destroy us right now, is just the ice typing. But yeah, I'm just wandering around this grass trying to find another team member. Like, dude, I just, I want at least two Pokemon, please. Please. You know, it has been kind of upsetting me that we've been finding the same... Kind of like the same Pokemon, like Young Goose, we're still finding Young Goose, you know? Which, I mean, I guess is to be expected. When you really think about it, there's four islands to spread all the Pokemon across. So I guess I just have to be patient here, but... Oh, hi. A Heal Ball! So we are stacked on items. Like, completely and utterly stacked. Totally stacked. Spiro, My dude, I like you, Spiro. But we already have a Flying type. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you just because um just because I want to go to level 18. So boom! It's not quite a one hit KO. The pursuit. Yeah, I love pursuit's animation. Called for help. It's help didn't appear. <laughs> oh what? So. Pokemon that aren't Totem can also call for help. Dude, this man tried to call- This man tried to call call and help like a Totem Pokemon and it failed. He was like, help! Help! And then nothing, nobody, nobody came to help. It's like, um, it's like an Undertale. Spoiler alert, I, I kind of, I guess. Um, it's like when the main character calls for help, but nobody came. <laughs> That Spiro was the biggest loner I've ever seen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. He called. Nobody came. That 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 big big grass owl just bodied him. Rising star. Ta 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 what? Tatiana. Tatiana. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. All right. Uh, she has a petalil. Adorable. For a second there, I thought that was shiny. I don't know what shiny petalil looks like, but it it just seemed off colored. All right. Let's go for the peck. And I do want to check the Pokedex because you guys were saying that you can track Pokemon that you've already seen in the Pokedex, apparently. It's so, like you can look at their location and stuff, which might actually be useful for trying to find certain Pokemon here, like a Grubbin, you know? Maybe he's not just on Route 1. I actually was looking up um, the Route 1, like the Route 1 encounters on Bulbapedia, and it turns out that Grubbin is really rare, which makes sense because we didn't find him. All right, we're gonna go for the care. Might as well make use of the refresh feature. More preferences, please. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. I, I don't know what you mean by that, but all right. I need more preferences. I swear the dialogue in this game is hilarious. And do you know what's even more hilarious? The Pokedex entries. Like I was seeing posts on Twitter where like there was certain entries for certain Pokemons like getting really gruesome. Like there was one about Gengar where it's like, if you see a Gengar in the woods, give up. And it literally just says give up with a period and that's it. 
and I was like, bro, this is a Pokemon game, calm down. Another one was like Primeape, and apparently like if he, if he punches too hard or something, he ends up killing himself, like it's really gruesome. Like these Pokedex entries are the best Pokedex entries by far. Like if you thought past games had gruesome Pokedex entries, no. No, you have not played Sun and Moon. Alright. Alright, we're gonna run from you. Is it only Spiro? I'm running into these black shading spots. Trying to find, um... Trying to find something new. At this point, I'm trying to exp- Oh, hello, hello, hello. Let's, let's avoid you. Let's avoid you. I'm just trying to explore, really. Hi. But yeah, I love the landscape. Sharp beak. That's pretty dope. We end up getting another flying type. Alright, let's keep going this way. Here's our objective. Melee Melee Meadow, a paradise where the Oricorio dance. Okay, I like Oricorio. I don't know if we'll actually, um... Ooh, I don't know if we'll actually catch one. But I do like Oricorio. Hi, Lily. My hair is a mess. My hair is an absolute mess. I'm having a bad hair day, I apologize. Nebby, Nebby, come back! Baby, come back. I asteroid. Nebby ran off into the meadow here. Oh, shoot. Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Right after I got into so much trouble on the bridge, too. What if wild Pokemon attacks it? It doesn't have any moves it can use, use to battle. Just hurry up and save Nebby already. We love Pokemon. Need all the help we can get. All right, my dude. Can we catch a Mimikyu here? Show me a Mimikyu. Show me a Mimikyu, I dare you. Yo! It's a cutie bot! Yo! Should I catch it? Should I catch it? You know what? I kind of want to catch it. I actually really like Cutie Fly. It's probably not going to be permanently on the team, but it's a bug and fairy type. Right? It's bug and fairy. And honestly, I, I kind of want this thing on the team. It could be a nice temporary team member. You know what? We're going to catch it. That's it. We're going to catch it. We're going to catch this cutie fly. Get over here, boy. All right. That did a good chunk. Absorb. This thing is so adorable. Did you know that cutie fly is tied uh, for the smallest Pokemon in the game? It's tied with Joltik and also Fulbebe as the smallest Pokemon. I want this thing. As I said, it's probably not going to be a full-time team member. But, um... But I, I would not mind having a having a Rabombi. Is that what it's called? I'm pretty sure that thing is really fast. I haven't seen the, um, all right. It's actually been a while since I've seen the stats. But if I can recall, it's pretty, it's pretty standing fast. So we're gonna pick this thing up. Come on, Rabombi. It's not a Rabombi just yet. But come on, cute cutie fly, get the ball. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna name you Sanic. I'm gonna name you Sanic because I'm pretty sure you're Sanic fast. Actually, I don't know, is it male? If it's male, we'll name it Sanic. If it's female, we'll name it Tails. Look at how adorable it is. I actually really like this Pokemon, not even gonna lie. It's gonna give us a bug type. All right, so yeah, it is Bug and Fairy. Uh, my rides of Cutie Fly flutter above the heads of people who have auras resembling those of flowers. Action. This thing is adorable. All right, you know what? Let's do this. Please tell me it's male. Please tell me it's male. It is. All right, we're naming it Sanic. We're naming it Sanic. We have Sanic, the soon-to-be Rabombi. I'm actually really happy about this. For our first catch, I'm happy about this. You know, we're like eight parts into this LP and we're just now catching a Pokemon. So I apologize for the delay, but um, I, w I wanted to wait, man. I wanted to wait for the perfect opportunity. So here we have Sanic, the... Uh, Soon to be Rabombi. With Absorb, Fairy Wind, Stun Sport, and Struggle Bug with Honey Gather. And a Docile Nature. Okay. So I'm pretty sure Docile is neutral, right? I'm gonna swap this thing around. We'll put Sanic in the front. Start switch training him. And I think we're good to go. So actually, do we have an item for you? You know what? Let's give him the Quick Claw. Let's give him the Quick Claw. Um, Houdini's gonna make use of that Z move. The no normally I'm Z now, so... I think uh, Cutie Fly can make use of this Quick Claw. There we go. 
And let's also heal him up real quick because we do not want him to die. That'd be a bad thing. Sorry about the jungle guys, but cutie fly here is all healed up and ready to go. And I think it's about time we actually get going here. So let's see, we gotta save Cosmog, right? Where are you, Cosmog? Where are you, my dude? So the, the idea here with uh, Cutie Fly is I basically just want to switch train him a bit, uh, get Sandy caught up to Houdini, and then we'll start. Uh, oh, look at how high he flies in here! And then we'll start, you know, actually being a productive team. We'll start working in harmony. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're gonna run. So this thing isn't really gonna help our ice type weakness, but I mean. It'll help our fighting type weakness. Not really. We don't really have one of those. Um, it'll help us with our dark type weakness, I guess. I guess maybe electric. No, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. My girlfriend always disappears somewhere. Maybe she's the type who can't help wandering off until she spots something interesting. Who's your girlfriend? Is that Lily? Yo, what? What if Lily is his girlfriend? Dude, the theories. Someone get on that. Someone make a theory. But, um, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, yeah, I wanted to bring up the fact that I don't actually think I turned off the experience share. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, because I was playing through Sun, and I turned off my experience share in that, in that copy of the game, and I was like, I, I was like, did, did I turn off the experience share on Moon? For some reason, I don't feel like I did. I'm gonna check to see if it's off. If it is on, I apologize. I meant to turn it off like a while ago. Like when I first got it, I intended to turn it off. I feel like, I can't quite remember, but I feel like I got the experience share and then didn't, and then didn't turn it off. <laughs> so let's go for struggle bug. Yo, look at the animation. That is a great animation. And it's gonna lower the special attack stat. Growth. So I have no idea when this thing evolves or how this thing evolves. Knowing my luck, it evolved, it would evolve through some crazy method like uh, Ink and X and Y, where you had to turn your DS upside down to evolve it. Yo, not gonna lie, that is one of my favorite evolutionary methods of all time. I remember looking and uh, finding an Ink and using it on my team in X and Y, and then just looking up how to evolve it, and it told me to flip my 3DS upside down. And it makes so much sense uh, considering what Ink is and what Malamar is in relation to it. Okay. Okay, so let, let me actually check real quick. I keep on forgetting. Let me check to see if the experience share is off. Boy, it's been on this entire time. I meant to turn. Okay, it didn't really matter. And I think, I think I have an excuse here because the reason why I didn't even notice it wasn't off is because we've only had one team member this entire time. So it being on really hasn't made much of a difference, but I'm glad that I remembered to turn it off or else it would have been on for this entire game. I would have never noticed. Pew! Alright, I found him. Oh, you. Pew! Thank you, Asteroid. And I should thank Cutie Fly too. Here, let me at least do this. It's so weird to finally have a second team member. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seems the Pokemon called Oricorio changes appearance by feeding on the nectar from different types of flowers. Kinda sounds like Flamebe. It's not actually evolving, but undergoing a so-called form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was, anyway. So can we catch Oricorio here? I mean, I probably won't catch one, but I mean, it's a cool Pokemon. Back in the bag, please, Nebby. I know there aren't many people around to see you here, but that's hardly an excuse. I guess we should be going now. The vessel will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. All right. All right, Lily. Uh, hey, Asteroid. Oh, and Lily's with you, too. What are you up to, Hal? How are you doing? <laughs> I gotta stop. Just finished up my trial. Hey, hey Asteroid. I want to see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. So that's why Lily heals us. All right, let's go. Let's freaking go. So how long has it been since we fought How? He still only has two Pokemon. Oh, he has a Pikachu, he evolved his Pichu. Yo, I like how the rival has has the mascot of um of, of the games, or the mascot of the of the franchise. Okay, we can't stun spore him, right? 
I don't I don't think uh, electro types can be paralyzed. Maybe I'm just making that up. Let's go into Houdini. Electric is neutral. We can get that uh, that powerful work up Z move off, which should be dope. But I wonder if there's more to do in that meadow. If we can't find Oricorio there, there's got to be. Because I, I know we only explored like a certain part of it. I'm sure there's got to be more to it. All right, we have minus attack. Let's go for the work up. Let us negate that Z power. Let's go. Wow. Okay. I was actually really like I, I, the reason why I said wow there is because I didn't think. I don't know for whatever reason I thought Z moves had priority. That'd be broken though. In hindsight, yeah, that'd be that'd definitely be broken. Um, but I wonder if how is access to Z moves. Can you use Z moves or is that just me? And I find it very interesting that, um, all right, so you post some deck, post some special deck. I find it very interesting that, that the animation for, or like the, the particle effect for Z moves is the same as totem Pokemon. I mean, I might just be speculating here, but may, maybe totem Pokemon and Z power has a relation. Maybe. Maybe totem Pokemon are the result of Z power. I mean, the trial captain Lima did say that static. You gotta be kidding me. Lima did say that he, that Raticate was his. He was talking about how he trained it. So may, maybe that's how they became totem Pokemon. Is they got infused with like Z power, and that's how that's how that happened. He has a Poplio. He still hasn't evolved it. Boy, you are slacking. You are slacking. Honestly, it feels like we've we've gone so far in this game. Yeah, we're still only at level 14 or level 18. Like we're still in the in the teens, level wise. And it feels like we've come so far. Honestly, it's kind of absurd. It's a little bit absurd. Pablo is gonna be eating that. Jeez. Come on, Houdini. Baby doll, is that lowering special attack? Oh, uh, that's that's attack. So is Razor Leaf? I, I gotta check this now. I'm 90% sure Razor Leaf is special, but it might not be. Yo, it is physical. I thought it was special. Wow, okay. That makes a lot of sense now. Disarming voice. We're gonna eat that. All right, so now this probably won't kill because we got, yeah, shoot. And my DS is gonna die, hold up. Hold up. Good thing I have my charger right here. If my DS dies in the middle of recording, that would suck. Because then I'd lose all my progress. So let's not have that happen. Let us not have that happen as a cash. We plug this in. Okay, we are good to go. We are good to go. Go for the pack. Houdini, my dude. Come on, man. Come on, man. We're not playing these games. Yes. All right, you have to evolve your Poplio. I don't know what you're doing. Care, can we get rid of this paralysis with care? Can we get rid of the paralysis? Come on, man. <laughs> Look at how sassy he is. How do I get rid of the... Oh, wait, hold up. It said something. Medicine for healing status conditions. Yo! That's awesome! So with that with that little little staff with the ball at the end, we're able to heal heal status conditions. Is it like unlimited use? That that's a little bit broken. That is a little bit broken. So you and me both be oh that's how. So you and me both be that totem Pokemon, huh, Asteroid? Looks like we're getting pretty strong. But I wonder if I'll, if I'll ever really be able to beat my gramps at this rate. Hey there, Asteroid, knew I could count on you, yeah. Thanks for tracking Lily down for me. So I like how we're still traveling with the original squad. The squad is moving with us. They're going on a journey with us. Maybe it's just because we're on the first island. I mean, I would think they would eventually leave us after we got to the second island. Like how going on the adventure with us makes sense. But Li Lily has no reason to be wandering around with us. She's just going with wherever, with Kukui. She's just going wherever Kukui goes. And I guess Kukui's just following us for some reason. What's this then? How, you finished your first trial too? I bet you used some style and moves, yeah? Hehe, <laughs> right. How is probably rubbing his hands together and glue right about now. Oh yeah. What do you mean? 
It's all part of the trials, yeah? Had to clear one island the trials, you gotta battle the island's Kahuna. Oh, we gotta battle how now? Or not how? Yeah, no, Hala. I get these names confused. To get the island Kahuna in battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon news, nothing could be better than the chance to see some more fierce Pokemon battles. Woo! I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, back to Iki Town. Catch that tailwind and blast through Route 3. So are we gonna go all the way around the island back? Find the time for you to take on Hollow himself. Get yourself off to Iki Town if you dare to. So now we gotta go all the way back around. Yo, wait. We made a full circle. Dude, this is wild. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a path this way. Look at the mini map. Over to the left, bottom left hand corner. That's where the bridge is. Where, um, where we, we saw Nebby and stuff. All right, and Tapu Koko saved us. That's to the left. So we went around that forest, and now we're back here. There's also a big surfing area to the right over here. Hi. Seeing kids like you journeying together with your Pokemon really soothes my soul. Thank you, I think I'll give you something. A Soothe Bell, how fitting. How fitting. Okay. So let us heal up real quick. Um, I'm not sure how much farther it is to to Iki Town. I mean, I think we should go across this bridge. Before we go over there though, I want to see what's in this grass. Because maybe it's something I want to catch. You know, may maybe it's a Mimikyu. It's a Mankey, all right. Go Scenic. All right, if we're gonna be fighting Hollow though, uh, we should probably try and train up a little bit. Let's go for the fair. We got the quick all boost right off the bat. Sanic is Sanic fast. Sanic is Sanic fast. All right, we're gonna go for one more. We resist that by a fourth. I'm pretty sure we, we resist that by a fourth, right? Call for help. Oh, wow, okay. So I, I like this replacement for horde battles. This is really cool. It takes on, it takes on a whole new approach. All right, Fairy Wind. Like, I liked Horde Battles and, um, or Ass and stuff, but I like this concept better because it seems more, it seems more natural, you know? Horde Battles really only made sense when it was, like, certain Pokemon, like a Pushiana or, um, I don't know, or maybe, like, a Gulpin, you know? But, I mean, where, where it didn't make sense, actually, you know, I kind of like this. It didn't make sense when, like, Surviper and and Zangoose would attack you, but I did like how they would attack each other. Not gonna lie, I really liked that in Oras. Because it, it fits their Pokedex entries. You guys know Zangoose and Surviper are natural enemies. And, like, if you if you had a horde battle with both of them, they would all attack each other. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. Alright, Zang is level 12, nice and powerful. Nice and destructive. So, I wanted to bring up the fact that we're not just going to be having this Moonlet's Play on the channel. Uh, there's going to be other content sprinkled in here and there. Uh, by the time this video goes out, maybe we would have already had some other content sprinkled in here and there. Uh, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the Moonlet's Play and all the other content on the channel. Don't worry, we're definitely going to have some, some more variety, not just Moon, because I know when Alpha Sapphire came out, I just did Alpha Sapphire and that was it until I beat it. Uh, but I definitely don't want that to be like that this time around. But that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Peace!